saw the Lamley group post on Instagram to tag Hot Wheels on our top 5 favorite casting. Here are my top 5 at the same time which I share on Instagram. Quite an assortment here. It took me a while to decide the top 5. I shall do a fast feature on each of the casting. In no sequence, all the top 5 are my favorite. The very first one is the Moon Eyes Custom 77 Dodge Van. This by far is one of my most favorite super. I really like the Moon Eyes livery on the casting, the disc wheels, and also the extra Moon Eyes livery behind, just for the super. You can see the TH logo that is very subtle on the side, and I really wish that I can go to the Moon Eyes Cafe located in Yokohama once this COVID-19 is over. The Dodge van has been released in several castings and this by far is one of the most fantastic super in my collection. So pairs very well with my favorite red thing, which I custom painted myself from a model kit. Next is the 70 Dodge Power Wagon, which is the RLC Pink Party car at the 27th Annual Hot Wheels Collectors Convention. What really wows me is the Spectra Flame Pink on the body. I think it's very beautiful, very captivating. Although all the pink party car comes in this color scheme and I remember it's enclosed in a baggie which I freed. Very heavy casting and looks super in photography and the casting itself is a marvel. Next is the blown delivery graveyard shift from the 2011 Dream Halloween charity party. This casting is definitely one of the highlights in my collection. I really love the livery on the casting, the color scheme and everything. I thought it's perfect. I did some quirky photo shoot as well with my post skeleton figure. I consider this casting itself as an artwork. I display this casting in my room so I can admire it every day and I still do. It's definitely one of the casting that's very close to my heart. Next, the 72 Grand Torino Sports for Treasure Hunt. This is definitely one of my favorite American car casting. It's really retro in 70s. Look at the grill. And I really like the K&N Racing livery. I think it's very retro and very dynamic. And for Super Treasure Hunt, it looks fantastic. Next is the Flying Customs Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR which is also the Cam Mary. This casting is by far one of my best finds on the packs. I think I found a couple and I share this casting with my buddies. One of the best moments is I found four of these Cam Mary hidden on the pack and I just scoop it up and share it among with my friends. This is also a very interesting variation as well. It's a single seat as opposed to the two-seater. I think a couple of years back, I bought the two-seater from a seller at a reasonable price. So I got two carded variation including a loose. Apart from the plastic wheels, it comes with a metal base. I did also custom a Hakos car in the same livery as this Camry. And this by far is one of the best flying custom before it's retired and was recently relaunched again. Alright, that sums up my top 5 Hot Wheels collection. Please share your top 5 in Instagram as well and tag 5 of your friends. Or you can always comment below what is your top 5 Hot Wheels collection to share with all the viewers. Remember to subscribe to my second channel, Hot Custom Unboxing, which you can find the link down below. Thanks very much for all the support.